Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this one hour tutorial, we're trying to see how to automatically generate a CLI from any Python function, object, or class. So, there's a very powerful package released by Google, it's an open source package from Google that allows you to convert any function or any Python code to a CLI. So, that is a package, the name of the package is called Fire. So, to install it, just go with pip install fire to install it. It's very, very powerful and very, very nice. So, this, unlike most packages, most CLI. In case you want to call help, you just go with this CLI.help. But with Fire, you just have to do this particular option. Bring the double double stuff to allow you to be able to call help. If you do it like this, it's not going to work. This is how you do that for Fire, right? That is, these are the inbuilt by default command arguments, right? Argument that comes with it. Now let's see how to work with this. So it gives you the option of exposing the full component. So the full component of the entire function object or class or to expose only a function or you can even use a class or a string so let's see how to work with it i'm just going to create a simple cli so let's create something called new cli.py so this is just an ordinary function i'm going to create so def then i'm going to call it as grid then by name so this is something very simple this is a simple function i'm creating so it's going to be print then Hello, then the name using a normal you can use a string if you want format name. This is something this is a basic function, right? So in case I want to run this particular function, I have to do something like this. Greet and then I'll put the name here as let's say John James, right? Something like that. It's like this to so Python, then CLI. So that is how to run it right, as a normal function. But in case I want to convert this function, which is a normal function, into a CLI. It's very very simple with this particular package. All I have to do is just import fire, okay, desktop, import fire, and then I'll just take of this, then I'll just initialize to so if me. So here I just put my fire dot fire, a whole fire on top of it, then that is all. So this is how, what is going to transform this entire stuff into a CLI. Very very interesting. So if I go with this particular option without passing in any argument here so to expose the entire component so let's see what i mean by that so if i go back to this here now and i go with help you don't do this right you don't do this this is how most cli are but this is quite different just go dash 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 then another dash 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 before you call your help Perfect. So now you see that it's telling us a type is a, it's a, it's a dictionary. So we see the entire stuff as a dictionary. Then it's going to give us the usage. So this is a fire itself by this. And then the grid. So the grid is referring to this particular function. So we need to convert this entire function into a CLI. So let's see what I mean. So this particular set, if I go with Python, with my new CLI, then I can just call it as grid, which is a command order. Then I'll supply my value. So there are two main methods of supplying the value. I just go with this. So let's say Jesse. Then it's going to tell me that hello Jesse, right? That is one way. Or you can also go into this particular format of supplying the argument which we have it as name. We had it as name here. Then Jesse. Hello Jesse. So either this option straight away, or you can just use this option, which is very, very interesting. So that is one way of doing it. So in case you want to see the help function for this, you can also go with this option of the dash dash, right? And then dash dash help. Don't forget the double dash. If you see, see that it's giving us the full code. So either greet name as we did here, right? Or greet name, that is the argument for this particular function, and then the name, right? So that is how to work with this particular function. Very, very simple and very, very powerful. Now let's see how to expose only a function, right? This we are exposing the entire component, but in case I want to expose only one particular function, can I just go with this option of bringing the greet here? So if I bring the greet here, then let's run it again. So let's go back with the help. Perfect. So now it's that it's automatically went straight to the grid, right? It did not bring all the other stuff. Just went straight to the grid itself, which is very, very interesting. So just went straight to the grid. So that in that same function, I have to do it. In case I want to call it, I just go straight away with the name. I don't need to call hello or grid, right? I just go with, let's say, Jesse. Then just print it automatically. This is totally different from the other one. In case I do it like this, grid, it's going to give us an error. 
don't give us an error, right? So hello greet. So it, it was able to detect that hello, instead of just seeing it, it's calling us hello greet. You do not see this one as a command that we're supposed to call. So it's as the argument you are passing. So that is different between this passing the function to expose only the function itself and then the previous one that we did, right? Without it. So in case you do it in this format, you just have to call the name straight away with this or with this particular option. That is the main difference between them. Okay, perfect. So that is how to convert a simple function to a CLI. Now let's see how to work with creating multiple commands. So I'm just going to copy this entire stuff I have here. Then I'll create maybe two different commands. So right, so this is going to be grid. Then I'm going to the first one is grid, this one is going to be by, and then this is going to be C, right? Something like that. Or C, something simple. So hello, this is going to be goodbye. This is going to be goodbye. So goodbye, the name. Then this is going to be let's say C something, right? Something very simple. So this is three different functions. I want to make them into a CLI. So with this particular stuff here, because I brought this under the last option, I can run it straight away as multiple commands. So if I go with new CLI, help. I'm going to convert them into multiple commands, right? You're going to see that there are multiple commands that I can run all of them. So you see that you have fire grid by C. Very interesting. So I can run each and, each and every one of them. So this, I just go with, let's say, grid. So John. So grid John. Perfect. I can also do the same thing for by. Goodbye. So yes, it's working perfectly. So that is how to work with multiple commands. So this is one option. So even as you're able to expose only one function to work with that, you can also do the same thing by by passing that's an object here. So like it's going to be like this. And I'm going to pass in the name that I want to use. So let's say I want the name grid. This is like a dictionary. Then this is going to be grid. Then I'm passing the next one, which is going to be for let's say by. Then this is going to be by. And then now next one is going to be C. Like C. Then this is going to be let's say C. So perfect. So this is something very simple, something very basic. Now with this, this same option, I can actually go straight away and run the same thing that I had here. It is also working in the same previous format that we had, right? In the previous way that we did, just like we did here, right? This same thing, the same thing working here. That is how to work with it. So in this format, I can also do the same thing that I had here. So I go with buy. So goodbye, it's working just like the previous one that we did. Perfect. So that is the second method of working with. So now we are going to work with different commands, multiple commands with this same function. So we have different functions converting the same function into a CLI. Very simple, very easy. Now let's see the next option. In case you want to work with the class, so I'm just going to comment this one out. So let's create a new CLI. Let's call it as for new CLI. Let's call it new class CLI. So let's say we have a class, right? A normal class, and I want to work with a class. So it's just something like class, call a class. The name of the class is going to be let's say hello, hello class. I just a simple hello class. I'm just going to put a simple. Doc, let's put a dot string there. So this is now let's create a function. So the name of the function is going to be our normal hello function. And let's go with self. In a name, then I'm going to return something. So, what am I returning? I'm returning hello, how are you? And I use a dot format. Then let's keep the name there. It's something very simple. So, this is something very basic. So, in case I want to run this particular stuff, I'm just going to go in let's say that grid. Right, then I'm going to initialize my class. So, that is the class I have. Then from here, I can just print. I can just print my grid dot the particular function that I have. So hello. Now passing the name there, let's call it as Paul. That's something very simple, right? So in case I go with Python, my new class CLI. Okay, so hello Paul, you are, how are you? Right, that is perfect. So without this, this is because I'm passing an argument. Now let's call the entire stuff without argument to so print the grid. So this is going to just show us that this is a class. Right, so perfect. So this is a class object. So now let's see how to convert this particular class 
into a CLI. Very simple. So the, the, the most important thing you have to do is just to know that you just have to import fire at the top. That is all you need to do. So import fire, then just create your if main. So if main, then from if in this main, go to where it's fire. So it's fire. Perfect. So that's how to do that. So fire that's fire. Then from here, I can actually make it like this. It's going to do the same thing that I did here. So let's call it as let's say hello. So I do it. Hello. When you're initializing it, then I'm going to pass in my bit here. So perfect. So with this, if I come back here and I run it, so that it's going to convert the entire stuff to a CLI in a very simple way. Okay, so that this is a simple class CLI to able to bring this particular docs here and then from here I can actually see how to run it. So this is hello. So if I run it with this, so hello. So let's go with the help to see how to work with the help. Perfect. So see that this is how to work with the help. So I can just supply the name, if it is the name of the argument you are passing here, and then it's going to work. Perfect. So let's see how it works. So I'm going to be let's say Joseph Fuss, right? Hello Joseph, how are you? Very very simple. So that's how to convert a, an entire class into a CLI in this simple way. So, so thank you for watching this tutorial. In case you have any question or contribution, you can just put it in the comment section so everybody can benefit. And please don't forget to subscribe. Stay blessed.